Well, meditation seems to be the new hot trend. Celebrities like Selena Gomez, Miranda Kerr, and even a naked Michelle Rodriguez have posted meditation pictures. And Dan, mercifully fully clothed, thank you for that, has just <laughs> written a new book entitled 10% Happier about how you became a meditator. Very reluctantly. I got interested in this subject in part because of all the science that says meditation can be good for you. In fact, just the other day there was a study that came out that says meditation can reduce your chocolate cravings. Mm. Sarah Haynes. Uh, <laughs> even more tantalizingly, there is research saying meditation can actually make you nicer. So I asked some scientists to put me to the test. Check it out. Is it right in this chair over here? The researchers at UC Berkeley wired me up as I watched a sad video. They tested my ability to detect Surprise. and communicate emotions through facial expressions and my voice. Mm. Mm. And then they videotaped my face as I heard a sad family story. Now he died in his early 30s, homeless in San Francisco. And, and asked a panel of strangers whether they found me trustworthy. We're interested in your gut feeling of your impressions of this person. In a moment, the results of what these researchers call a <laughs> compassion workup. But first, why does this matter to you? Because new science says compassionate people tend to be healthier, more popular, and more successful. And there are new data showing the clearer the signal you show, um, people trust you more. And check this out. The new research also says you can effectively rewire your own brain to be nicer. Personally, I always figured I'm a nice enough guy. I love animals and children. But when I heard that you can actually build your compassion like a muscle, I decided to give it a try. For several years, I've been doing compassion meditation. You ready to see your scores? Yeah. So is it working? You showed a really strong physiological response with respect to compassion. I also did well with that focus group of strangers and with those faces and voices I had to read. And Can you means? look into the camera and say that to my wife? <laughs> <laughs> He's excellent at reading emotions. It says so right here. <laughs> science, baby, science. <laughs> However, when it came to communicating emotions, I was well below average, which might have something to do with my job. It fit your profession so well, which is you have a, an eagle eye for what other people are feeling. And you're not letting them show, you're not letting other people see what you're feeling, which is the dispassionate stance. Now, whether your wife likes that, <laughs> that's another question. Yeah. And, and uh, I don't think my wife's a huge fan of that. <laughs> ah, technical no. term, science, baby, yeah, yeah. science, yeah. right? <laughs> With a little monk to the camera. But, right, but in all seriousness, what does compassion meditation actually right, involve? So How do it, you do it? It's, it the, at first, it's going to sound irretrievably dopey. Basically, what you do is you picture a series of people and send them good vibes. You hope you wish them good health, happiness, and things like that. When I first heard about it, I said, there's no way I'm going to do it. But the research shows it can actually change your brain in the parts of the brain that have to do with uh, compassion and empathy, and that it's really good for your health. It can reduce levels of stress, um, and it's been shown to work. Little kids who are taught how to do this are more likely to give their stickers away to strangers. And by the way, I picture you guys all the time when I do the meditation. Aww, so you know. thank you Everything. for that. Mm -hmm. well, Especially you, Claiborne. Well, thank, so you. You know. thank you. Well, it, it's a fascinating fascinating story and a great yeah. book and I hope women Thank around you. the country go buy this book for their husbands especially for themselves too but if you want happier husbands get this book for simple meditation instructions go to abcnews.com slash 10% happier or obviously go to amazon.com and buy Dan's book alternatively you can check out Ron's book 11% happier <laughs> which is on the stands right now yeah. exactly. <laughs>